All right, you all, everyone's favorite, the Purple Hearts. And it is almost December 25th, Christmas. And look how I've maintained the purpleness of the plant. And I've had to keep this plant directly into the window in order for her to be this lovely around this time of year. So, so even just indirect light is really good for this plant. And whatever sun the winter has provided for me, that's the only sun that she's gotten. So I'll definitely be placing her in a hanging plant directly in the window. She's got a ball of roots here. Look at this, guys. Like, I cannot break any of this apart. And before I, and I had broke all these babies off, and she's just, this is, this plant is so easy to multiply. She just does her own thing. I cannot untwine that. So, let's go ahead and pop her into her pot, which I'm going to use this one, I believe. Yeah, perfect. I am doing my best to make sure my plant end up in the center of the pot. I don't know, I, I do not care for my plants to grow along the wall. I like for them to gradually move towards the walls. Purple heart, honey. I want this plant to do well. Look at her. She's so beautiful for this to be December. That pretty purple. She is so healthy. And I want it to remain this way. So I'm putting her as close to the window as I can get her to maintain this dark purpleness. you all so I've taken the time to water my purple fuzzy with fertilizer just a small just a smudge just to see how the soil is doing the soil is a good level still however I need to add some
I like to shake it so the soil can fall into the gaps that it needs to fall into. Yeah. So there she is. Make sure you can see her, honey. Let's look. Mm hmm. So she can be seen. There we are, yes. So there she is. Um, hmm. I'm wondering, should I get a stick and have this point? No. Um, this is a vining plant. She'll get used to hanging over. I'm wondering, should I tie her up? Is what I'm wondering. Put a stick in here. But I would have had to plant the stick with it. I've learned to not stick the plant, stick the stick in the plant once you've planted because I can ruin roots that way. But I kind of want to have her up. didn't ruin anything I said I wasn't going to do that anymore just a little quick something I was at the plant store and I came across this wire for plants and you know I usually use rope or string which you can see when you tie your plants up this here is green is very very thin you can barely see it on the screen and I just wanted to show you, I got it from the plant store. You can use this to tie your plants up. FYI. I'm only going to do it a smudge at a time just in case I want to change the tightness. Because I just want to help the plants so that the stems don't begin to break because they're just hanging like that. This is a vining plant, so I'm not going to give ridiculous, I'm not going to put too many levels of twine on here because I do want this plant to hang. It does look better. You can't see the twine like you can my rope. And it's really easy to cut. And I don't have it tight at all. Just barely wrapping around the plant. So I place the baby here, right in front of the window, and even if she doesn't receive a lot of light, she'll at least receive the light from the artificial light. Because when I was propagating that plant, she was on the window ledge, you know, very close to the indirect light. So I'm hoping she maintains and that's the purple velvet vine right next to her on the left. And that's the Rio next to her on the right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Same deal with this baby. I was able to maintain that dark purple because she was directly on the window ledge. But these pots are not going to fit on my window ledge, honey. So, I just pray I maintain that darkness. Well, thank you so much for watching Ragdown Planting. Over and